The only solutions that are ever worth anything are the solutions that people find themselves. Satyajit Ray. There's always some room for improvisation. I don't start a film with a heroine but with a cinema subject. If there is a woman in the story, she has to be of a particular type. It's not as if I start with Madhuri Dixit and then think what kind of film. I mix Indian instruments with Western instruments all the time. I had developed this habit of writing scenarios as a hobby. I would find out which stories had been sold to be made into films and I would write my own treatment and then compare it. It was only after Potter Panchali had some success at home that I decided to do a second part. But I didn't want to do the same kind of film again. So I made a musical. What is attempted in these film is of course a synthesis. But it can be seen by someone who has his feet in both cultures. Someone who will bring to bear on the film's involvement and detachment in equal measure. Satyajit Ray. When I'm shooting on location, you get ideas on the spot, new angles. You make not major changes but important modifications, that you can't do on a set. I do that because you have to be economical. Well the Bombay film wasn't always like how it is now. It did have a local industry. There were realistic films made on local scenes. But it gradually changed over the years. Satyajit Ray. My cameraman and I devised a method, which we started using from my second film, which applies mainly to day scenes shot in the studio, where we used bounced light instead of direct light. We agreed with this thing of four or five shadows following the actors is dreadful. Ever since two daughters I've been composing my own music. My films play only in Bengal, and my audience is the educated middle class in the cities and small towns. They also play in Bombay, Madras and Delhi where there is a Bengali population. Satyajit Ray. The director is the only person who knows what the film is about. When I write an original story I write about people I know firsthand and situations I'm familiar with. I don't write stories about the 19th century. Particularly in the final stages I always find that I'm rushed. It's dangerous when you're rushed in the editing stage, most of my early films are flawed in the cutting. For a filmmaker, an Oscar is like a Nobel Prize, you know. So I am very happy. Delighted. There is nothing more after this. I cannot hope to get anything more prestigious. Satyajit Ray. At the age when Bengali youth almost inevitably writes poetry, I was listening to European classical music. There is a ban on Indian films in Pakistan, so that's half of our market gone. I wouldn't mind taking a rest for three or four months, but I have to keep on making films for the sake of my crew, who just wait for the next film because they're not on a fixed salary. I was interested in both Western and Indian classical music. I think they quite like me when I work because I'm one of the safer directors to back. Because even if my films don't bring their costs in back home, once they're shown outside of India they manage to cover the costs. You cannot go beyond a certain limit in your expenditure if you want to bring back money from your local market, which is very small after Pakistan. Satyajit Ray. I've made 17 or 18 films now, only two of which have been original screenplays, all the others have been based on short stories or novels, and I find the long short story ideal for adaptation. Sometimes a director is making three films. Perhaps he is shooting a film in Madras and a film in Bombay and he can't leave Madras as some shooting has to be done, so he directs by telephone. The shooting takes place. On schedule. Satyajit Ray. The conception of background music is changing. You use less and less of it these days. Satyajit Ray. Most of the top actors and actresses may be working in 10 or 12 films at the same time, so they will give one director two hours and maybe shoot in Bombay in the morning and Madras in the evening. It happens. The only solutions that are ever worth anything are the solutions that people find themselves. Last, but not least, in fact, this is most important, you need a happy ending. However, if you can create tragic situations and jerk a few tears before the happy ending, it will work much better. The director is the only person who knows what the film is about. At the age when Bengali youth almost inevitably writes poetry, I was listening to European classical music. There's always some room for improvisation. When I write an original story I write about people I know firsthand and situations I'm familiar with. I don't write stories about the 19th century. What is attempted in these film is of course a synthesis. But it can be seen by someone who has his feet in both cultures. Someone who will bring to bear on the film's involvement and detachment in equal measure. It was only after Potter Panchali had some success at home that I decided to do a second part. But I didn't want to do the same kind of film again. So I made a musical. There is a ban on Indian films in Pakistan, so that's half of our market gone. My films play only in Bengal, and my audience is the educated middle class in the cities and small towns. They also play in Bombay, 
Madras and Delhi where there is a Bengali population. The conception of background music is changing. You use less and less of it these days. Dominus Omnium Magister. It means God is the master of all things. When I write an original story I write about people I know firsthand and situations I'm familiar with. I don't write stories about the 19th century. Sat Ujit Ray. I've made 17 or 18 films now, only two of which have been original screenplays, all the others have been based on short stories or novels, and I find the long short story ideal for adaptation. Satyajit Ray and Charlie Chaplin are the only two film personalities who have received an honorary doctorate by the Oxford University. On Satyajit Ray's 99th birth anniversary, here are seven quotes by the genius filmmaker. One of the greatest auteurs of 20th century cinema Satyajit Ray was born on May 2, 1921, in Calcutta, now Kolkata, to a Bengali family. His grandfather Upendra Kishore Ray Chattery was one of the founding members of the Brahma Samaj and his father was renowned Bengali poet who pioneered the use of nonsense verses in any Indian language, Sukumar Ray. Ray started his career as a junior visualizer. But after meeting French film director Jean Renoir and Vittorio de Sica's Laudry de Biciclette, he was inspired to become a filmmaker. Ray was popularly called Manikta as a sign of respect. He with his brilliant storytelling and filmmaking carved a niche in India cinema and became the second Indian to win an Oscar after Banu Ahaya. In 1955 Ray made his directorial debut with Potter Panchali which was a great success. He won 11 international prizes, including Best Human Documentary at the 1956 Cannes Film Festival and an Honorary Academy Award in 1992. I never imagined that any of my films, especially Potter Panchali, would be seen throughout this country or in other countries. The fact that they have is an indication that, if you're able to portray universal feelings, universal relations, emotions, and characters, you can cross certain barriers and reach out to others, even non-Bengalis. Satyajit Ray. Ray was very versatile in choosing the subjects of his film and all his films were very sophisticated, very clean. He directed 36 films, feature films, documentaries, and shorts. Ray is best known for his cult films Potter Panchali, Nayaka, Aranyar Din Raitri, Seema Bada, Charulata and the Faluda series. His 1964 film Charulata was described by Ray as the one film I would make the same way if I had to do it again. Ray has received 32 National Film Awards. He is one of the only three filmmakers to have won more than one Silver Bear for Best Director Award at the Berlin International Film Festival. Satyajit Ray and Charlie Chaplin are the only two film personalities to have received an honorary doctorate by the Oxford University. He was also honored with the Bart Ratna in 1992 by the Government of India. In that blog post, you know about a short biography of legend Indian filmmaker Satyajit Ray and some Satyajit Ray quotes. Satyajit Ray was born on 2nd of May 1921 in Calcutta, India. His family was largely associated with literature writings whose works are considered to be the masterpiece of Indian literature. His father Sukumar Ray was a writer of a bull table which were children's books and his mother Superba Ray was a housewife. He was only three years old when his father passed in 1923 and he was the only child in the family. On his mother's insistence, he attended Shantanecht and largely due to his respect and love for Rabindranath Tagore. He never regretted his decision as he learned Oriental art and his thinking cultivated under painters like Nandalal Bose and Benod Bihari Mukherjee. In 1947 Ray founded the Calcutta Film Society along with his friend Chidananda Dasgupta. Ray was highly influenced by foreign movies and seriously studied those movies when they were screened in his society. His American friends kept him well informed about the latest trending American movies which he not only enjoyed watching but also learned a lot from them. In, 1949, he tied the knot with his childhood sweetheart by Joya Das who was also his first cousin. The couple was blessed with a boy son Deep Ray who is also a director by profession. Ray was highly influenced by Jean Renoir for whom he worked free when he was filming The River in Calcutta. Ray discussed his idea about Potter Panchali and was highly encouraged by him to follow his passion. Ray decided to make his film based on classical literature Bengali Potter Panchali with an amateur cast and crew. The novel was based on the life of Apu and his family. The movie took three years to complete due to a shortage of funds. In, 1955 after taking a loan from West Bengal government he was finally able to complete the movie and was acclaimed a movie of pure cinema. His international career got a pace with his next movie Opera Jito which was a sequel to Apu's further life journey. The movie was his outstanding work which won him a Golden Lion at Venice Film Festival. The trilogy ended with Opera Sansar featuring Sharmila Tagore and Somitra Chatterjee. 
Some of his noted works are Charlotte 1964 Devi 1960 Paris Potter 1957, and many more. He also revived his grandfather's children magazine Sundesh which he edited until 1992 until he died. Let's have a look at some of his quotes which greatly influence us to follow our passion. Satyajit Ray Indian director born on May 2, 1921, died on April 23, 1992 Satyajit Ray was an Indian filmmaker, widely regarded as one of the greatest filmmakers of the 20th century. Ray was born in the city of Calcutta into a Bengali family prominent in the world of arts and literature. Starting his career as a commercial artist, Ray was drawn into independent filmmaking after meeting French filmmaker Jean Renoir and viewing Vittorio De Sica's Italian neorealist film Bicycle Thieves during a visit to London. Sometimes a director is making three films. Perhaps he is shooting a film in Madras and a film in Bombay and he can't leave Madras as some shooting has to be done, so he directs by telephone. The shooting takes place. On schedule. My films play only in Bengal, and my audience is the educated middle class in the cities and small towns. They also play in Bombay, Madras and Delhi where there is a Bengali population. Satyajit Ray